Hello again, I'm the church lady and this is church chat. <laughs> Oh yeah, is is your mother-in-law um putting a picture up trying to say it's me? Do you mind if I put you live? Okay, sweetie. Sorry, with the way it did, but that's how we're supposed to be. You know, we're supposed to be happy for people, not jealous, or ugly, mean, or crazy. Anyway. Hello, PG speaking. Yes, it is, sweetheart. No, hun, I don't. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, is is your mother-in-law um putting a picture up trying to say it's me? Do you mind if I put you live? Okay, sweetie. Okay, you're live. Um, this, uh, this is the young lady. This is the young lady. Um, is your mother-in-law, you said? Yes, ma'am. She yeah. sent a picture of my mother-in-law and a picture of my oldest son and my mother-in-law. Um, on YouTube and TikTok, and somebody messaged me on Facebook about it. Um, I've been talking to a lawyer, so it's my mother-in-law, and to the police, even though she's in Canada, but she's getting ready to lose her YouTube channel, and she's getting ready to go to jail, because she's getting a lawsuit on her for posting and saying it to somebody else. I didn't think there was um, uh, bullying and something else I mentioned, and then posting my son on there, too. So. Yeah, that was Cher, that was Cher and Trevor Lee. Tr Trevor yeah. Lee and Cher are the two that was doing that to your mother-in-law. So Trevor Lee's one of them, too? Mm-hmm. He sure did. Matter of hey, fact, mom, he's the one that started I'll take, it. I'll take care of his ass, too. No, oh, I am so sorry that happened to her. I came out and let everyone know that, you know, that was not me. I asked them to right. back off. I asked them to leave this, this poor lady alone. Um, you know, right. I fear for I fear for the people that they falsely accuse of being me because in YouTube out here, this stuff gets real. And they could get someone right. hurt. And, you know. Yeah, I've got people messaging, like, no joke, message my Facebook and said that people are trying to locate her and my son that's in the picture. And, like, I'm not playing. She's never glad she's in Canada. And this is not a threat. It's a promise. She acts really badass on YouTube. But if she was down here, she doesn't have to fuck me out or excuse my friends because she's playing the wrong damn mama there. Well, I'm going to tell you something. They'll have to expedite her back. Well, I'll tell you something because, like I said, it's already in the works. And like they, the lawyers have said, all the comments that's on the TikTok and the YouTube of hers, mm -hmm. they're going to do something about those two because they're threatening her, you know, and plain as you, you know, even though it's not, and right. threatening my child. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that they do that. I mean, it's, it's not right. It's not right. right. And, you know, and tell your mother-in-law that, that, you know, I'm so sorry that she had to endure that because I know that really super hurt her feelings, what they've done to her. Right. You know? Yeah, maybe all my mother-in-law has dementia. She don't even know how to use nothing, you know, like anything. You know what I mean? And my son, is, yeah, he might be an adult. He's 20. Yeah, I've got five children and a grandbaby on the way. But like I told him, I don't care how old my son is. Dude, I will go to war for my kids. This is not the Wells Bunch. It's not her sorry ass that don't have her kids. I don't care to beat the hell out of anybody when it comes to my children. But she took it to the extreme. And like I told her, I emailed her and she ain't got enough balls to sit there and email me back or, you know, take care of it like she's still like a real damn woman. You know, even though my mother-in-law's not you and you, or vice versa, start investigating since you claim you know so much about YouTube before you blast people and put it out there. Because evidently you claim you know so much about the Wells, which she does. Because she's always like Don Wells' ass for him. <laughs> and then, you know, all this and acts like she knows so damn much and such a good investigator. Maybe you should do it a little bit better before you post pictures of somebody that's innocent that's not that person. Amen. And then posting a picture of my son on it. Bitch, you don't need Jesus is what you going to need. <laughs> hey, girl, I heard that. I, I, you know I, mean? I, I mean, I've been on your log, you know, a couple times before, you know what I mean, to talk to you. And that's what I was saying. I was like, I know Paragard ain't like that, you know what I mean? And I've been trying to get to the bottom of this. My Facebook has blown up since I got out of the hospital, dude, the limits of my own, you know, health problems to try to take care of this stuff. So then I contacted our lawyer and the police down here. And just so she knows her YouTube and everything's being watched. And she's getting ready to go under because it's not only me that's made the report. Yeah, I mean, you And know. they said that what she's doing is very against the law. Her channel will be taken. And they didn't care to expedite her down here. So Absolutely. I pray God she loses every damn thing she's got. Well, you know, when they bring her back, they'll make sure that they um, get her for her child support as well. But yeah, it is against right. the law to do what they're doing. They're exploiting. Exactly. They're exploiting um, your family. They're And they're putting your family in harm's way, you know, and, which should not be done. Yep. Um, exactly. You know, they also, you know, it's defamation of character. They're, they're causing you guys in a lot of stress, you know, that you don't need. And you can be sued for causing someone's stress alone, right? Right. Yeah, like the lawyer even said, right? You know, just from what she's doing and the comments and the stuff that she said, and it's, you know, all over from Canada, you know, on down to here in Tennessee where we're at. You know, they can, right now, just before it even goes to court or whatever is going to go on through it, but she will be charged. A lawsuit twice. Once against my child that she's posting. Once about my mother-in-law. You know what I mean? That's do right there. But they said the charges and everything. She's looking at six or seven since she wants to play so damn much. And I'll tell you what, I'm just for just for the stress and everything alone that she's put you through and so forth in your condition, um, the minimum is $15,000. The minimum. Right. Um, you, I mean, that's yeah, the minimum. Yeah, I've got health problems and see, the, the, I mean, I don't play about any of my kids, you know what I mean? So, and I've got a daughter here that's high-risk pregnant, you know, so she's playing with the wrong damn family, messing with everybody. Exactly. But my son that she's posting, I about lost him at age six. He's got a lot of health problems himself, so, you know, and guess what? All of us under daughters care with health problems, so, like I said, she's effed up, she's effed up bad. You're looking at and I'm going to laugh, and when I bring her down here, I'm going to say, hold up, while I beat her fucking head in, and you can take me too. And if her ugly ass husband's got something to say, then I'll take care of that too. <laughs> well, you know, um, to be honest with you, um, her husband, her husband told her that, you know, what she was doing was, you know, was 
should not be being done. He didn't, even he didn't right. agree with, you know, her cruelty on all of that. But, right. you know, she didn't listen. But, you know, and I did him the favor exactly. of trying to let him know, you know. And then they said, oh, well, prayer garden got so upset. It must be her. No, I got so upset because I don't want anyone to ever be put into harm's way. You know, I right. I actually love and care about humans. Exactly. And that's what, you know, I, I even thought I went to and I thought I said, you're such a really badass and such an investigator and know so much. You know, and you can sit there and you can screw Benny some more. Uh, Candace and Don, don't act like you don't know so much. I really think she's involved in it, too, just like Jody Sue and him. I've been watching it from day one and do not live, I didn't live far, 30 minutes from where those had been healed. Yeah, I'm still in Tennessee. But, you know what I mean? She, right. She's messing with the wrong people because me, us, we are redneck mugs down here. We, we don't really care, you know what I mean? Oh, I know her. And she, she's going to find out real quick <laughs> that um, she might live in Canada or whatever. But I, when it comes to my family, dude, and you're posting a picture of my son, you know what I mean? I have no dog in this race. Mm -hmm. And my mother-in-law that's got dementia, and dude, my mother-in-law is even dying. Oh, wow. Slowly, so and you're going to post bullshit. You know what I mean? Right. Like, uh-uh. Wrong. Man. Like, and she acts like she's the biggest investigator in this, and like I said, you know, even when she don't know, she don't do her job right. And your and husband, everybody needs to make money and make a living, your husband and she makes it on YouTube, mm -hmm. but I hope she loses it all. Your husband can sue on his mother's behalf, absolutely. You know, exactly. that's so wrong. That's That is so yep. wrong. You know, yep. and... That's why I said, we've been talking to the lawyer, and they've done got her name, her husband's name, they've got her real name, it all, so she can play that, you know, this is her name, da 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 da, da you know, and her PO box, guess what, they've done to her real address, so... And they, we've done, you know, printed everything off of the pictures, the comments that everybody has made on this post, TikTok, Amen. YouTube and all. So, yeah, like one said, of them was so terrible. Screwed, she, was, she, was pointing, you know? she was pointing at your mother-in-law just laughing, man. It was it was, yeah. it was awful. And, and then my mother-in-law, I didn't even know nothing about it. I just had to tell her. And you I don't know, think they even took them down yet. I don't think they've even took them down yet. They haven't. But yeah. like the cop in the lawyer said, as long, the longer she keeps them up, you know, even though she was told to take them down, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And she's supposed to by law. But the longer that she keeps them up, the more charges she's going to have to honor because she's not listening to what she's been told. Hey, I don't blame you, girl. It's about time. It's about time that, you know, yeah. people should That's I don't play with nobody. Ain't nobody going to post my family on YouTube or nobody else. It is about you know what I mean? No. You need to and I hope pray to God family. they do find summer. I've been watching it from day one. Amen. And to be honest, they should have put Candace on, Jody Sue, and all them up in jail. Actually, should have hung them by fucking rope. Excuse my French. And done away with all of them. My opinion. But, you know, that's just facts. But, no, they don't, the cops or nobody cares are doing nothing for, for that poor little girl. Exactly. Well, I and it's a damn thing. That's why I said I hate living in the state. You know what I mean? The same state. You know? That all this happened at because you know our cops and are nothing worth not worth nothing, and I really believe Ronnie Lawson's been on the crap too because he could be doing more. Um. Well, you know, um, you have you have you know different branches of the law, and what happens by the time it wrinkles down to our law enforcement, like our our normal police officers, police chiefs, and everything like that, our sheriffs and you know sheriff departments and everything. By the time it gets down to them, I'm mean, going to be honest with you, their hands are pretty much tied. Um, you know, right. when it comes to prosecuting people now, because, you know, you've got too many bleeding heart people for criminals. They want to live in a safe right. world, but they feel so sorry for criminals that criminals are getting away with everything now instead of, you know, and what is it doing is causing the people that's feeling sorry for them to have to live in hell. So you can't blame nobody right. but yourself that you can't open your doors off your windows and live in a good, peaceful world because you're, you know, you, you can't have it both ways. You can't have the criminals out here and then want them locked up too. Wanting them locked up ain't enough. You got to get them locked up and, and move right. on with yourself. You know, you got to understand yeah. that in order to make this world safe for your children, for yourself and for, you know, your loved ones and the people to come in the future, you have to stand for what's right. And there's too many exactly. people standing for what's wrong now. Right. And see, what don't make sense is like, we've had enough to put them in jail for, you know, not so much of finding, you know, I know they're not going to find summer, but you know, the word that he's even said in the actions that they've showed since day one, and his exact words were, you know, they'll not find her, you know, and, you know, I can't remember word by word, but you know, they, they will not find her. Right. Did that to me right there if I was a cop, you know, or even, or even, you know, something that could do something about it. They're right. right there more or less than me says, you and Candace or whoever's done something away with her, you know, done something with her body. So now she's not going to be found. Exactly. You know, to me, that's a piece of shit parents. You know what I mean? Like, dude, do something. You know, and like I said, you know, cracking cases and all Benny and all them, you know, they've been around at that house or whatnot and upheld them for the longest time when they're damn trash. And like I've said time and time, any that's on their damn side is just as trash as this like they are. You know what I mean? I agree. Y'all should dang on sit there and when you're allowed on the property or something, y'all should look more and done more. And then maybe, you know, all of us in this world that actually loves and cares about Summer, even though she's not ours and we don't know her, would have answers because, you know what, the sorry ass family doesn't care. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so true, girl. I agree. You know, it, it's, it's pitiful. My own kids sit here. I mean, we sit here and talk about her daily, every day, you know. And I used to, you know, when I post her, you know, on my old Facebook, I post it. But, you know, like I said, living in the same state, and, you know, I feel so sorry for her regardless. But, you know what I mean, sitting there and getting brought back in it, living in that state and seeing it, you know, every day, all day. You know, then open up your Facebook and have those pictures on there. You know, I break your heart and then hear your kids sit there and say, she should be built. You know what I mean? Okay. Then nobody cares. But like I told them, I would go to hell and hot water. I would be taking every turn I possibly could if it was my child. Or hell, even if she was here today, you know, and they didn't want her, and I don't even know her at all. You know, if they need somebody to take her, I'd open my door and take her right in, even the boys. Just so she would have a life that she needs. Any kid deserves a better life than what those kids was put through. Amen. I agree. And I hate any kid to go through that. You know what I mean? Any kid. I'm sorry. It just it breaks my heart. I'm sorry to cry, but it. It, it just bothers me so bad. It does. It does. Hey, we've all been there, girl. We've all been there. Everybody loves summer. And so then much. when five-year-old, when she went missing, and here she just turned seven on the fourth, man. It's just so heartbreaking. And that's what I told my husband. I've been wanting to so freaking bad, so bad, to go down there on Ben Hill. But my husband knows as redneck as I am. If I was
you know, and supposedly she was with y'all that day or whatever. You turn your head for two seconds. No kid. I'm, I'm a mother of five. Granted, my kids are always on my side. I don't, they can't see me. I can't see you. Period. But no child's going to be gone this long or be, you know, gone that quick within two minutes or five minutes or whatever. You know, y'all have done something with her. Period. Especially and if you put it in the house. Her, that's not love, dude. Especially if you put it in the house. If you put it in the house. Exactly. It, it, no, that ain't happening. That's exactly. All their dig on stuff that they've said since day one is nothing but a bunch of lies and BS. And I don't and know. And you don't know what Fair Garden? You know, Andy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was pissed about this too, and I so wanted to go and talk to him so freaking bad. My husband, I'm not going to say the job that he did work at. Well, actually, I don't care to say it because he don't work there now. So I will say it, you know, because I want some business out there. But he used to work at Childers. I'm not going to lie. In Kingsport. Well, it sold in gardens in Tennessee. Um, my husband went back to work there. It was the third time he worked there, right? Mm-hmm. He goes to work there, and then guess what? Mm-hmm. Guess who's there working? Andy. Guess who kept, even though that they didn't have no communications, wasn't supposed to do, da 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 da. Guess who always showed up at work? Donna. Jody Sue. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And they was evidently doing, I don't know what they were doing, but, you know, my husband, they used to go around doing parking lots, sleep and clean them up, you know, da 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 mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's what job they did. Well, every time that he went to Walmart mm-hmm. in Colonial Heights, I'll tell you, um, in the parking lot, it was Jody Sue and her oldest son that she so much cares about her kids and their safety and don't put them in harm's way and her daughter. Funny thing, you always met him knowing that y'all, he broadcasted that y'all sold weed to such and such and whatever. Evidently, she was meeting him there with the kids to get weed as well. But did anybody ever do anything about that? It was turned in. No. Wow. I don't think anybody yeah. knew until now. <laughs> right. Whoa. And then the way that we, you know, Wesley wouldn't let me go and talk to him because, you know, he didn't lose his job, which is understandable. But, dude, I did um, comment on his, you know, his um, YouTube or whatever, talking to him and told him several times to call me. I was like, dude, you work with my husband. And Wesley, my husband, I'm not going to say his real name, but, you know, told him, hey, my wife's been watching this from day one. She's got questions. She wants to talk to you. Did he ever attempt to do that if he was so innocent? Don't know nothing. No, he's never contacted me because he knows I would call him out on bullshit, too. You know what I mean? Right. But my husband even thinks that he's in on it just from the way that he talked and what he said. Oh, I mean, wow. I can even say you in here and let you find my husband right now if you'd like to. Well, you don't want to be alive, but if, you know, later on or whatever, after life, because you don't, you don't like him, you know, out there for the world. Right. Um, he said if you want him to, he'd call and tell you, you know, the stuff that he knows about Andrew. Oh, yeah. That worked, if you would want him to. Absolutely. She said, absolutely. And she said, it's, or she said, Lord God, am I? He said, is Andrew a, a what? A felon? I think so. I'm not sure. Um, but anybody that, you know, that's what Jody Sue made everybody believe that her kids I know, I know, I know, I know, I know Jody Sue's got a, I know Jody Sue is a, a felon, I believe. I right, she, but she sat there and was so scared about the kids being around him or whatever, right. and asking everybody for money. Dude, if you were so scared about you know, about your kids' life, you damn sure wouldn't go meet him at work to meet him and take your children with you. And, you know what I mean? He was using people for clout and money. That's all he was doing. And this is after Summer came up missing, after all of this? Oh, yeah, honey. Okay, I'll say my husband just had quit there, what, two months ago? Two months ago. Andrew quit, what, like four months ago, five months ago? So, yeah, it's been way, you know, just that short of a time. So, yeah, it's been way after Summer. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, Yes. Yeah. And see, I've even, and I'm not going to lie about it, I've even called in about the stuff that, you know, the kind of weird shit that he would say to my husband and, you know, just whatever. But, you know what, it seems like, oh, it's not enough evidence or, you know, we don't take such and such word. You know what I mean? Like, nothing. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Well, I'll Who be. said that? What do I think happened to Summer? I think her mom and her dad and Jody Sue and all them killed her, to be honest, and annoy everybody. I'm just going to say it. And I think Andy and Jody Sue was in on it, too. I'm yeah. just going to speak that. I'm sorry. Somebody, somebody asked Wesley what else, what else happened to Summer or in the chat. So, I'm sorry. I just figured I'd answer it while I'm on there. I'm on. Yeah, I just, like I said, I wanted to call you and, like I said, just, you know, about that ordeal with my mother-in-law and, you know, my son and just, you know, like I said, you know, we live in Tennessee. We, we before we moved to where we are now, which we're still in Tennessee, I'm not going to say where, because, you know, there's a bunch of crap already out there enough, but we're still in Tennessee, which we're still not too, too far from Ben Hill, but where we lived at when summer went missing, you know, and we've seen all over the news and everything, don't know none of them. The only ones I knew of, and it used to be our old neighbors, was Allison, you know, and her kids, which I talked to you about that prior, you know. Right. Um, but that's the only ones we knew. But did we hang out with them and talk, don't talk to them? Hell no. You know, because I've got that vibe, but no. Um, but we were like 30 minutes where we used to live from Ben Hill Road, you know. But I, I don't know, like I said, the Wells Bunch, none of our family does for, you know, all this to be, you know, throwing my family out there and, you know, saying all this is Fair Garden of America. Well, evidently, bitch, you don't know because my mother-in-law is not Fair Garden of America. And if you investigate a little further, maybe you would know her real damn name. And I'm not going to put that out there, but she goes by Trish. But, you know, um, I'm sorry you know, that, that happened to her. Like out of my family and my son. I'm really sorry you know that happened I mean? to her. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I really appreciate it. But my husband, like I said, um, the number I called you from is my home phone number. Okay, sweet. Um, I have emailed you before. My number did change to the number that you had prior, my cell phone number. But um, if you want to, you can, um, like I said, my husband will call you or you can call back here later. Uh, and he said he'd tell you what he knows about Andrew with working with him. Oh, I appreciate that. What do I think about Hunter? Okay, to be honest, I'm sorry, everybody's asking why I'm on the phone. Hunter is a kid. I'm going to say, yeah, he's a kid. I don't like speaking about him. Nobody's child. But me living near them, beside them, like I said, they were at, like two doors from me where I used to live um, years ago. But I'm just going to leave it at this. When I met him, it was a kid that I would not even attempt to let my kids even be like face to face with or even didn't want my kids to talk to them out from the window because the vibe that he gives, the stuff that he'd say and do, the way he'd carry himself and to be honest, act like he could bang, hang, every, you know, blah, 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 everybody and their mama, you know, and didn't care about bragging about drugs and stuff like that. No, I did not want my children around people like that. So, no. So, but no, like I said, they were the kind of people, you know, like I said, you know, somebody that got yeah, being your neighbor, but you stay in your apartment and they
um, with my oldest daughter was true, which I'm sure you remember her, the oldest daughter. Yeah. Um, and then the youngest daughter, Sandra, went to school with my youngest son. And then now, um, what I was told, you know, from people that knows me that I know them, even though I don't talk to, you know, Allison and them, I haven't forever. Um, they, um, Allison and lost every one of her children and have none of them. Sandra was adopted out by somebody else. True lived with her dad and her stepmom, and Hunter, I don't know where Hunter's at. Wow. Um, I heard, I heard that, um, Leslie's, some of Leslie's family took in Hunter. Um, yeah, Leslie's daughter has Sandra, which is Bear, the youngest daughter. Okay. And then True messages me on Facebook here and there. You know, she does try to talk to me, which, you know, I don't talk to her about, you know, nothing other than that. She messaged and said, um, you know, I want to let you know that I don't live with mom anymore. None of us do. And I was like, okay, why? Well, she goes, she gave son Sandra away, which is, we call her Bear, her youngest daughter. Right. She actually gave her away to Leslie's daughter. Um, so she has custody of hers. And then True went to live with her mother, I mean, her father and her stepmother. And then Hunter, at that time, was sent off or something. And then, um, supposedly Leslie's daughter is supposed to get in custody of Hunter. But Allison, according to what I was told, Allison's not making kids back. Do you know why she lost him in the first place? I heard it has what something to do with told, her boyfriend. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on it because I don't want to speak on something that's not true. Right. But what I've heard, I will say, here's say, I don't know, um, that she lost him. Her mom had her sister's kids, and she lost those by beating on them, and then, you know, a bunch of other stuff. So she lost those kids. And actually, I've seen those at Walmart not too long ago. And those kids do message me. I, I think the world of those kids. Not Allison's kids, but, you know, the, her sister's kids. Um, is, is and they got taken from them all. Um, but um, supposedly, Allison lost her kids from drugs. And the house being filthy, and then her mom being around where she was charged with child abuse and child neglect. Oh, so um, the grandma lost custody of her yeah, other Sherry daughter. Yeah, Sherry Yep, Sherry Mulaney. She she lost. She lost her grandkids. Yeah, Alice's oh, wow. sister's kids, Nikki from, Sorrell's kids. From abusing, from abusing them. Yeah, from child abuse and child neglect. Yes. Oh wow. And then she got them back, and then she lost them again, and now they're adopted out. I need a what? Uh, Somebody said I need a what? Call's not what? Call. This lady Oh, honey, I'm going to call Sheriff, but since I get in the brownie, bet your ass, if I make Canada, she wouldn't get a call, she'd be more to call. But we just going to leave it that one, because I do respect Fair Garden's, you know, channel. You know what I mean? So I'm going to leave it that, but, oh, yeah, it's going to be more to call, <laughs> since I get to talk to her. I wish I knew somebody had her phone number, because I would love, love to call her. Yeah, I don't, I don't have her phone number. Um, I, I when she called in, when she called in on my live, it, it was anonymous. So uh, She's so fake, too, because mm -hmm. she's, I mean, she talks so much crap about you, and then she got to where she was on your live and trying to play nice and, you know, suck up like Buttercup. And then right back where back where we started at talking smack about you and then using my mother in law and son's picture and saying it's you. Like she's fake as crap. Well, you know, she's definitely evil. Yeah, she, she better go back to sleeping with Don Will some more. She's definitely and evil. Sex some more. And she has a lot of hatred, you know, a lot of hate um within oneself, right? Right. And my husband just said he has for a fact that Andrew carries a gun on him at all times. He knows that for a fact. He just said that I don't know where I come in at, but that's where he does it. Uh, but um yeah. I can't say what I'm going to tell Cher on Pear Garden's Live because, sorry, that's Ronald Wilson, because I respect Pear Garden's channel and I'm not that type of person to sit in her channel taking down or her in trouble and to cause her any conflict or, you know, anything that happens between her and her family that's not me. Um, but I will tell you my email. If you want to email me, I'll be more happy to tell you what I'm going to tell you and probably be more added on it. Um, do so I have you? My email out there. Do I have you on my Facebook, hon? Yeah, you're on my Facebook. Uh, just hit me up to yeah, chat. Speaking of my Facebook, I'll tell you, my Facebook is Anderson and Anderson. That's my Facebook. But I will tell you now, people can message me about this BS, but I will tell you now, don't use that on pictures. Don't message no sideways crap about nothing, no threats, no using nothing or anything like that. We're more happy to answer questions than I know. But I'm going to tell her right now, don't use none of my pictures out there. Like, shares, get your ass to doing. You know, but if anybody's got questions, I'll be more happy to answer what I do know. Um, and my email is rebelgirl311987 at gmail.com. You can email me as well. You do know, you do know, you do know that if you, if you make any type of watermark, if you make a watermark like, um, like the, like an A for Anderson, if you make any type of watermark and you put them on your pictures, um, if anyone uses them, they can be sued for using that particular picture because, okay, how do I do that? uh, you just, you know what? When you um hit me up in chat, and I'll explain it all to you um on Facebook. I okay, can I can I can call you on Facebook and and talk with you. Um, I'll try to okay, get to that. Yeah. I'll try to get to that tomorrow. Okay, I'll do that. that. But I'm gonna get off the law. Like I said, I just don't want to disrespect your live or you know anything. I know, girl. I'm all. so glad you called I'm in. Not that type of person. But if you have any questions, and like I said, you can message me on Facebook. We will talk. And then my husband said he can you know let you know anything about the injury situation. You know, but you want to you want to know because we don't talk to nobody else on YouTube. But I will say this, and it's from the bottom of my heart. I don't know you from you know Adam Eve. But I will say this: you are one that we truly, truly think the world of and love watching your YouTube, and are more than happy to let you know any information that we do know that you know that can help you put out there as well, and maybe you get somewhere as well. Because we've turned it in, and nowhere's got nowhere. But you are one person that we will give information to. I'll be YouTube. Oh, I appreciate that, girl. God bless. You're welcome, honey. And, and God as bless I said, you, you have a good night, honey. Please let your um, please let your mother-in-law know that I'm so sorry this happened to her. I for sure will, honey. Thank you. Absolutely. You, have a great night, honey. Thank you too, sweetie. You too. God bless. I'll, I'll, watch, I'll be on your live still watching it, but you know. All right. I'm gonna get off here. Hug your right, kids. You, hug your kids for me. Hug your kids for me. I will, honey. God right, thank bless. You, good night. God bless you. Good night. She's a sweetheart, right? Absolute sweetheart. She's awful upset, and I can't say I blame her. I don't blame her one second for being upset. Absolutely not. What you know, it was despicable what Cher and Trevor Lee had done, right? I and I tried to stop it. I really did. I really did. The second I got news, I was trying to stop it. You know, you got the wrong person. You know, and um, 
they didn't care because they don't care who they hurt. They, you know, they, they don't care who they, they violate, who they hurt, who they, you know, treat so cruelly, right? It is, it's awful. It's absolutely awful. So I am, I am truly sorry about that. I mean, here is the true definition of freaking evil, right? The true definition of it. Not lying, bro. I'm lying, bro. Well, isn't that special? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's me.